Good evening and welcome. Please rise for the Northside High School Class of 2022.
at this time, please. Say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Good evening and welcome to our 2022 graduation ceremony. I'm Tracy Nixon, principal at Northside High School, and I'm glad to see so many faces here tonight to recognize and celebrate the success of the senior class of 2022. Congratulations to you, seniors. I hope that you have made wonderful memories with your classmates, teachers, club advisors, and coaches during your years as a Northside Panther. At this time, I'd like to recognize some special guests. Butch Oliver, Chair for the Board of Education, T.W. Allen, Board of Education, Dr. Matthew Cheeseman, Booker County School Superintendent, John Reepholz, County Commissioner, and Frankie Waters, County Commissioner. Before we begin our ceremony, I'd like to go over a few house rules. Due to fire code, guests must remain seated. If you exit the ceremony, you will not be permitted to re-enter. If you have a cell phone, please place it on silent. And out of respect for everyone, please don't holler or scream or shout at your graduate as they receive the award across the stage or receive their diploma. This is the graduates' night to shine, and all attention should be on them. They've worked really hard and deserve to hear their names being called. All guests also reserve, deserve the right to hear their graduates' name called. Please hold your applause until the names have been called. I would also like to recognize the junior marshals at this time, Madison Allen, Caden Culliper, Madeline Gibbs, Hannah Black, Carson Clinkscales, Eli Wan, Riley Respus, Cole Tamaney, Xander Garretts, Jean Grace Deho, Leah Cahoon, and Laura Wow. At this time, I'd like to invite Bryson Proctor, Senior Class Treasurer, up to the podium for our invocation. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Congrats to class of 2022. It's truly an honor to be up here with you all. Um, everybody, please join me in prayer. Lord, thank you for this day as we celebrate the achievements of the class of 2022. Thank you for the shared memories, hardships, and victories shared between the souls on this stage as you prepared us to take the next big step wherever it may be, to college, the workforce, or defending our nation. Let us grow and prosper as we continue on with the, let us grow and prosper as we continue on with the plan you crafted for us years ago. Lord, I ask in the trials and tribulations of life, we remember where our roots are and the skills that we've acquired over the last four years of high school are able to allow us to identify the works of negativity through lies and manipulation. Let us remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens our soul. I pray that wherever each of us are living our lives for, we find the internal peace that you have waiting for us out there around the world. Lord, finally, I pray that you are with the people of Texas as they went through a massacre and that they will not be able to share this memory that we are up here on the stage. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to recognize Carolyn Walker, who's a board member, and Ethel Booth, who's a board member, and Mr. Ed Booth, who's a county commissioner. So I love you all. I just realized that. Thank you. 
It is my privilege to recognize Northside High School's honors graduates, North Carolina academic scholars, and presidential scholars for the class of 2022. Please hold your applause until all the names are called. To be considered an honors graduate, students must have a weighted GPA of 3.25 or higher. Tonight, they are wearing gold honor stoles. Seniors, as I call your name, please stand at your seat and remain standing until all the names have been called. Honor graduates, Christian Averson, Lauren Alligood, Perla Arias Velasquez, Alexis Aspie, Emma Barrett, Ashlyn Beecham, Cortina Beltran, Meredith Bennett, Zachary Bond, Janiah Bonner, Braxton Boyd, Kiefer Boyd, Brianna Brady, Cheyenne Buck, Lauren Burbage, Landon Cahoon, Matthew Carter, Barbara Davis, Ari Deho, Kiana Dugan, Blake Pule, Sarah Glass, Mitch Godley, David Guy, Brent Holland, Madison Johnson, Hensley Jordan, Karen Maldonado, Noah Manning, Rachel Midget, Alexis Pippen, Bryson Sawyer, uh, Bryson Proctor, Kate Sawyer, Terry Soper, Catherine Stale, Alyssa, Alyssa Woodward. I present to you the class of 2022 honors graduates. Let's give them a big round of applause. To be considered a North Carolina academic scholar, students must have a cumulative unweighted GPA of 3.5 or higher. They must also complete a series of college prep courses including four math credits, with one being a higher level math, three science credits, with one being physics or chemistry. They must also have completed four elective credits in one area and three higher level credits taken during their junior and senior years. Seniors, as I call your name, please stand at your seat and remain seated until all names have been called. North Carolina Scholars, Emma Barrett, Cortina Beltran, Braxton Boyd, Keeper Boyd, Landon Cahoon, Matthew Carter, Ari Deho, Kiana Dugan, David Guy, Brent Holland, Karen Maldonado, Bryson Proctor, Paige Sawyer, Terry Soper, Alyssa Woodward. Please give these guys a round of applause. Families, you may be seated. The Presidential Academic Scholars Program is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education in partnership with the National Association of Elementary and Secondary School Principals. The award was developed to help principals recognize and honor those students who have achieved high academic goals through working hard and a dedication to learning. These students have earned a weighted GPA of 3.5 or higher. Seniors, as I call your name, please stand at your seat, remain standing until all names have been called. The Presidential Scholars List, Lauren Alligood, Perla Velasquez, Alexis Asby, Emma Barrett, Ashlyn Beecham, Fratina Beltran, Zachary Bond, Janiah Bonner, Braxton Boyd, Kiefer Boyd, Brianna Brady, Lauren Burbage, Landon Cahoon, Matthew Carter, Ari Deho, Kiana Dugan, Blake Fuel, Sarah Glass, Mitch Godley, David Guy, Brent Holland, Madison Johnson, Hensley Jordan, Karen Maldonado, Noah Manning, Rachel Midget, Bryson Proctor, Paige Sawyer, Terry Soper, and Alyssa Woodward. I present to you the class of 2022 Presidential Academic Scholars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
seated. I am honored to recognize the third and fourth academic ranks of the senior class of 2022. Please come on stage when I call your name. The senior who's in the fourth and the academic rank in the class of 2022 is Karen Maldonado. The senior who is in third in academic rank in the class of 2022 is Keeper Boyd. I would now like to invite Karen Maldonado Curiel, the senior class president, to the stage for the class message. Good evening. It's been an honor to be the senior class president for the class of 2022. I want to thank, take this time to thank everyone in this room that has come to support one of these graduates on stage. This is a very special time in our lives, and it's wonderful that everyone came out to celebrate and show their love for their graduate. So thank you to all the teachers, staff, and family members for being supportive and amazing throughout this process. Can you believe it? This time has finally arrived or graduating. I know most of us have been waiting for this day to come. You may be one of two people. The person who couldn't wait to graduate as soon as you stepped into this building on the first day of your freshman year, or the person who enjoyed their time here and is dreading leaving this place behind. I would like to say that I am very proud of everyone on this stage as well as those who couldn't make it today. I am proud because I know everyone in this room was motivated by something or someone to finish high school. Everyone has worked hard to get to where they are today. Throughout the 13 or more years we spent in school, we developed new relationships, ones that were lost or faded away, and ones that will last a lifetime. We have created memories that we will cherish until we grow old, and we have learned lessons that we will take with us as we find our way through life. Soon, our chapter here at Northside will end. We will be turning our tassels from right to left as we officially become graduates of Northside High School. Today, some of us will walk through those front doors for the last time. While others may come back for various reasons, some may come back to work here or to enroll their future children in high school. Either way, this school will always be a part of us. Moving forward, everyone will have their own paths to follow and their own future to plan. The two things I wish everyone graduating today will accomplish someday in the future is success and happiness. Success looks different for everyone, so define it for yourself. Once you do, go out and attain it. The only way this could be possible is to work hard for your goal and do the things that you were once too afraid to do. Everyone will eventually have to do things they do not want to do. So as we walk out today and plan our future, aim for the stars and make your dreams reality. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Your mindset is one of the most important assets you will have, so use it to your advantage. Remember, not everyone becomes the person they want to be. Some let negative influences take control of their lives. Don't let that be you. Stay in control and take a hold of your own destiny. I want to end this speech with a short quote by Edward Knott. The fireworks begin today. Each diploma is a lighted match. Each one of you is a fuse. I hope this quote inspires you to plan for your future, and I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. I can't wait to see what each and every one of you would do with your lives. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize the valedictorian and salutatorian of the senior class of 2022. It is an honor to present you the class of 2022 salutatorian, David Guy. Please join me on stage for the salutatorian address.
Good evening and congratulations to the class of 2022. Together we have faced unprecedented challenges during these last four years at Northside High School. We might be remembered as the smallest graduating class in NHS history, but I'm convinced we will be noted as one of the strongest. My fellow graduates, I commend you all for your perseverance, your grit, and your academic success. These last few years have taught us we will be able to survive any hardship, unexpected worldwide crisis, and remain true to ourselves and our goals. Pushing forward has been key to creating who we are today, and sitting idly has been proven to never lead us to greatness. To quote Will Rogers, even if you are on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the help of our family, our friends, and uh, most importantly, the teachers. So I would just like to say thank you. These past four years have been full of obstacles, but by far the biggest obstacle that was posed on all of us is something I'm sure you're all tired of hearing about, COVID-19. From being told we were gonna get a two week break to being locked away in our homes for a year, it was hard on everyone. Going to class went from a social gathering to a computer screen where all of our friends were represented by an icon of their choice. And I know that it was even harder for the teachers, but they were willing to put up with it to better our education and lead us here today. Even in the hardest times, they were on our screens trying to brighten our day when the world seemed to be at its darkest. I hope each and every one of you will thank them at the end of this ceremony. Being released from quarantine was both a blessing and a curse. We were finally able to return to our school and make memories with our peers. However, there was a feeling in the back of my mind that something was off. There had been a full year of maturing in seclusion, and so it almost felt like we were meeting people for the first time again. Strict restrictions also made it became a mandatory part to, of life to minimize the spread of COVID-19, ensuring we're going to be given another two-week break. These elements and more now serve as a reminder of what we have endured and can also be shown to show and be used to show how much we have grown. And now that the pandemic is finally releasing us from its clutches, we know that it is our responsibility to protect not only ourselves, but each other, no matter our differences. We have learned that these differences are, key to, are, are the key factors that make us all unique, and we should try to embrace that. So go ahead and wear your neon colored Crocs, because if it were all the same, then there would be nothing special about this school. And no matter where we go, to college, straight to work, or take the step to serve our country, we all started here. It's important that none of us forget where our roots originate, a small agricultural county that some may say has nothing to do, but I'm proud to call home, Beaufort County. And with all of NHS's little quirks, there's no other high school that I could see myself attending, and I hope that my peers are able to say the same. Because now, wherever we may go, there's no denying that we will always be our Panther. Thank you. It is an honor to present to you the class of 2022 valedictorian Brent Collin. Please join me on stage for the valedictorian address. Good evening, family, friends, teachers, staff, and most importantly, good evening, class of 2022. As most of my classmates know, I'm not the most outspoken person of the bunch. In fact, I was awarded the senior superlative of the quietest male, yet here I am tonight speaking to you all. So rest assured I won't take up too much time with this speech. <laughs> A question every child is asked is what do you want to be when you grow up? You'll hear answers like an astronaut, the President of the United States, or maybe an Olympic athlete. As for me, I wanted to be an NBA player, although I quickly realized in the fifth grade that there were first graders taller than me, and that I needed to adjust my career goals. I feel as though in asking this question, focus is put on the social and economic status 
that we one day hope to achieve. I do think it is a valid question and it is important for kids to dream big. But I think the question of who do you want to be when you grow up is equally as important. Becoming who you want to be as a person will set you on the right path to become the best of what you want to be when you grow up. Focus on the who and not the what. I can say with confidence that the people here at Northside High School and the people of this community have helped us focus on the who and not the what. When I moved here during the summer before freshman year, I had no clue what to expect. I wasn't familiar with the small town atmosphere and knew it would take some time to adjust. I wasn't sure how I would fit in as the new kid on the block. It didn't take long for me to find my place because all the students and staff made me feel like I had lived here all along. The way everyone made me feel welcome gave me the confidence to try new things. I didn't know it at the time, but my choice to try something new by running cross country turned out to be the best decision of my high school career. It was the immediate connection I made with Coach Bob and my teammates that assured me that I had found my fit. Over the next four years in cross country and track, the people on the teams and even the coaches may have changed, but who we were as a team was never in doubt. We were a team full of kind, dedicated, hardworking, and compassionate people. I think most of my teammates will agree that running itself is not what we enjoyed doing, but it was who we did it with that made it most enjoyable. So who do you want to be when you grow up? When answering this question, you should think about all the people who have made a difference in your life. Most likely you will remember your experiences with them and not their job title or occupation. Fellow graduates, as you look back on your time at Northside, remember the classes you took, clubs you participated in, sports you played, and any other extracurricular activities. Who you did these things with will stand out and help remind you of who you want to be. Wherever your, net, wherever your next path takes you, whether it's college, a job, military, or a trade school, be sure to surround yourself with people who will help make you be who you want to be. In closing, on behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to thank all teachers, coaches, and staff for supporting us till the very end. I personally would like to thank my family and friends for all their love and guidance. I'd like to thank my mom for always being there for me no matter what. Thank you, Dad, for helping me become the man I want to be. And finally, I want to give a big thank you to my grandma and Sam Paul for their endless support. Without these people, I wouldn't be who I am today. Congratulations, class of 2022. to the podium for the presentation of the diplomas and Dr. Cheeseman to congratulate the senior class of 2022. Christian J. Abramson. Lauren Brooke Alligood. Carla Beatrice Arias Velasquez. Alexis Annabella Asby. Randy Gray Bailey. Emma Ruth Barrett. Ashlyn Renee Beecham.
Fortino Beltran Cuevas. <laughs> Meredith Ballou Noel Bennett. Tysheen Carol Blunt. Zachary Willis Bond. Janaya Lynn Bonner. Lanasia Alexia Bonner. James Braxton Boyd. You go, boy. <laughs> Kiefer Allen Boyd. Brianna Rain Braddy. Hunter Jordan Braddy. Cheyenne Alexis Buck. Lauren Elizabeth Burbage. Landon Hilton Cahoon. Clara Jane Cannon. Matthew Chase Carter. Terry Michael Columbus Jr. <laughs> Jay Sean Hunter Cook. Jason Alexis Coda Lopez. Barbara Estelle Davis. Ari Douglas Dehoe the third. Keanu McCann Dugan. Montrell Joaquin Eburn. Aaron Blake Fuel. Dulce Elizabeth Garcia. <laughs> Emily Joy Giffen. Right here, Emily. Sarah Ann Glass. Alfred Mitchell Godley. Michael Taylor Godley.
Danielle Nicole Gregory. David Brian Guy. Brett Windley Holland. Madison Emily Johnson. Michael Dennis Jones the second <laughs> Hensley Eden Jordan <laughs> Cameron O'Neill Lespina Karen Maldonado Correll. Jeffrey Hunter Manning. Noah Eli Lee Manning. Avery Diane Marslender. Bryson Gabriel McKinney. Rachel Abby Laura Midget. Raphael Miranda Paris Jr. <laughs> Olivia Ann Persons. Alexis Lane Pippen. Bryson Troy Proctor. <laughs> Catherine Zaimata Ramirez Machado. <laughs> Eric Roberto Sanchez Garcia. Keon Satterwhite Jr. Paige Nicole Sawyer. Terry Casey Soper. Marie Squires. <laughs> Catherine Grace Stell. Dylan Scott Taylor. Raven Brianna Warren. Matthew David Williams. Alyssa Danielle Woodward.
I would like to invite Dr. Matthew Cheeseman to the podium for the turning of the tassels. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthew Cheeseman. I am your superintendent and very blessed to be each and every day. And just for a few moments before they turn their tassels, I would like to congratulate you as family members and help you understand and have a little bit of celebration for you too because you made it also. So congratulations to you. On those days when you didn't think you could do it anymore, you did it. And for those of you um, who will immediately turn your child's room into some type of activity room tomorrow, <laughs> realize they are still your family member and understand that they're going to need you more now than they ever did in the past. It's not over. It's solely the beginning. And I hope that this day forward that you will always welcome them home when they're 18, 28, 38, 48. I say it every single year that there is nothing greater than the bond of a family together moving forward in life. And the children that are behind me, and notice I said children, the children that are behind me are about to graduate and come into this world, and they're going to have great responsibility and their quote-unquote own independence. Um, but uh, all I ask of you is to let them come home. Let them come home when they need you most. Answer the phone when they call or text or Snapchat, or Instagram you, whatever they do, please respond to your children. They are forever yours, no matter what they think. And with that, I applaud you and thank you for pushing them, pushing them to aspire to be something of what you may not know just yet, and they may not know just yet, but be that person who will listen, maybe before talking, because now they're gonna have conversations with you of which they can't have with others. When they're 25, 35, 45, now they're going to call, now they're going to cry, now they're going to celebrate, now they're going to live life, now they're going to be rejected, now they're going to have to cope, now they're going to face the world, and now they're going to be very, very successful because of you. Congratulations to all of you in the audience. The others that I would like to recognize, if you're a teacher or an employee of Northside High School, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, have a fine round of applause for all of you. Thank you. So the three young people before me who gave speeches, Karen, David, and Brent, all hit highlights of my speech, so I'll get to the end uh, sooner than later. But I will say this. Yes, we had a pandemic. Yes, we could not have done what we did without our teachers. But yes, every other employee in this side, inside this building had something to do with the success of these individuals on the stage. And for that, I applaud you. Now, what's very interesting is sometimes I drive down the highway and I see billboards and signs, but I can tell you 100% of the people standing behind me are about to graduate, and that's the only billboard or sign that you're gonna need right now. And so with that, I'm very excited about the young people behind me and what they're going to do. But I did hear some others talk tonight with these graduates in the other room, and they talked about they made it. Well, I don't really agree with that. They earned it. They sure earned it. And they worked very hard to get here. And whether they had a 4.0 or higher, or a 2.0 or higher, or just barely got across the stage, they have earned it. And I can tell you that I was not in the top of my class of high school, not in the type of, top of my class in college, but ultimately I found someone who could teach me how to learn and ultimately became successful in the way I am. So when I listen to Karen and I listen to David and I listen to Brent, whether all of you know what you want to be, the only thing I desire you to be is successful. And only let yourself measure that and not anyone else at any given time. 100%, 100% of the time. So with that, we are here to celebrate you. So it's about that time that you graduate, wouldn't you think? Now, if I didn't move across the stage, I probably would have got a little more excitement around that. But, <laughs> all right, graduates of Northside High School, please rise. And grab your tassel. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present the class of 2022. You may turn your tassel.
may be seated. You may be seated and be angry. <laughs> because that, the former cover, as somebody you just discovered, is empty, so you still need to behave and see what you're going to do. Oh, the young man up front here. I love you. So, with this, by the power invested in me in the great state of North Carolina as superintendent of Bogart County Schools, I declare you graduated from Northside High School. of our accomplishments for we have now graduated. Each one of us have had our own journey, our own mountains and valleys, our own story to tell, but we leave tonight as all high school graduates. No matter how we continue to write our own unique story, we may always share the bond that makes us a Northside Panther, class of 2022. Now everybody please bow their head and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for always being with us during our high school years. We praise you and give you thanks for our accomplishment. No matter where our journey takes us from here, may you always lead us into deeper waters as you did Simon Peter. Because like Simon Peter, we can't do it without you. Help us to remember all the valuable lessons we have learned here at Northside. Keep them close to us as some of us leave for college, enter the workforce, or any other road we may decide to take. For it is you and only you that knows the path we are to go down and the tools we need to travel it. I pray you continue to keep us close as a class and that we never forget the memories we have shared because those two will help us along the way. Thank you for the teachers and the administration that have taught us and guided us. Lord, I ask you to keep us safe tonight and the years to come as we celebrate our graduation and race faster into the journey of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for spending the evening celebrating these young men and women and their accomplishments while attending Northside High School. Parents, thank you for helping your graduate become the person they are today, and please continue to encourage and support them in their future endeavors. Graduates, you have earned the honor to graduate tonight and go out into the world to chase your hopes and dreams. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Please rise as I am proudly present to you the Northside Class of 2022 graduates.
to their home room and get their certificates and they will be meeting you outside. Uh, there's a lot of uh, furniture in the hallway, so please don't go in the hallway, go outside. They're going to be directed to get their stuff and go out and meet you out front. Thank you for a wonderful evening.